Hello everybody, I am Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Our weekend was busy. Oh, I know, we'll talk about it. <laughs> it's um, 50 some degrees here though, so there is hope for a little bit of um, warmth coming soon. What's going on with my, hang on, my, <laughs> I'm trying to get us loaded up here on Facebook, on my iPad, and there I am. Okay, I just want to make sure there's no volume. Here we go. Here comes all my people. Hi, Lori and Yvonne and BJ. Welcome. Jean is here. Happy to see you guys. Linda, Lynn. Yeah, so we've had a really busy, um, I had a busy weekend. I started Friday on my hateful taxes. I know we talked about this a little bit last week. Just in case you missed it, I hate doing taxes. I like hate them. And I hate them more now. Because, you know, you only do them once a year. And I think that I give myself good notes so that I know what to do the next year. Boom, 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 boom. And then I don't. <laughs> I was conversing about this with my um, partners in crime, <laughs> Tina and Barb, and they're like, oh my gosh, they hate them too. It's just like, poke my eyes out. Hate them. Hi, Donna Johns. Welcome. So I was doing my taxes Friday night until like, I don't know, two or three in the morning. And finally I said enough. And then I got up Saturday and started working on them again. Then I called my tax guy and I need to do some things and he's retiring. And so now I got an appointment with some other place and <laughs> I'm not, I'm not seeing anybody till the 11th. And then I'm not even going to worry about it until then because it is what it is, right? Taxes are terrible. Um, you guys might have seen on my Facebook page, I posted that I was going to be babysitting both the babies Friday night. Steve and I double teamed Val and Dawson. And I might add that we did very well. Dawson did not get injured in any way, shape or form. Um, Val loves her little brother still, but she does kind of get a little rough with them. <laughs> That's kind of cute because she went over to him and he was, I think he was sitting in his little car seat thing. She went over to him and then she went, woo, 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 like she was being funny. But he was like, <laughs> like, Val, you can't do that that hard. And she was like, what? That was so funny. And he like was, he was a little startled. Like it, it was a little too rough. So, you know, she didn't do it anymore and that was fine. Um, I think I talked to you guys last week about the little milk cartons that um, Molly made for Val. Like, she was in my stamp room last weekend, and she was making little milk cartons, and she made them into ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise and all the condiments. There's relish. She made a whole bunch of them, and then she made a refrigerator out of cardboard and covered it with retired um, designer series or retired cardstock that I have in the basement. I always keep that stuff for the kids, and Haley um, will pull from it for her class once in a while. So I, I try to keep all that. And um, Val just loves them. She's pretending. She's like, she's like, we'll say we need some soup. And she'll go over and she'll take her little jar and she'll take her little carton and she'll pour it in a bowl and give it to us with a spoon. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I mentioned last week that I wasn't sure what color I was going to go with in my guest room. I wanted to find some throw pillows. And I finally decided on yellow. I don't have any yellow, so I thought yellow would be pretty. My room is otherwise white with um, pale gray walls. The bedspread is white, pale gray walls. And I thought, I think yellow will look nice in here. So I did go shopping on Monday and I found some throw pillows. Man, are those expensive. Who knew? I did not know. <laughs> Anyways, I got some yellow throw pillows and I'm pretty happy with them. I also bought a new tablecloth cloth for my kitchen. And that's white with little yellow polka dots on it. So I must be on a yellow kick, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, I see somebody else talking about their taxes too. They're hateful. Taxes are hateful. I know they're necessary. I mean, I get it. I I'm I don't like paying them, but I I'm not I like that's not the part that I hate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, and um, this week in Wisconsin, it must have snowed like eight times. Like, we're done. We're done with it. It's, it's, it's like it'll be 55, and then tomorrow we'll have ground covered with snow it, twice a day. So, John report. Steve told me that him and John were out shoveling the driveways, because our driveway's here and John's driveway's there. And... Um, at the end, they both got done at the same time, and then they went over, and Steve clinked the shovel against John's shovel. So they clinked shovels and said, that's it for the year. <laughs> so I don't know if they, like, then sprinkled some magic fairy powder around to make that happen, but <laughs> he came in, and he's like, we clinked shovels. That's it. No more snow. That, that's my John report. Winter is over, according to John and Steve. Nature. No. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Yeah, I have an appointment with the tax, new tax lady on the 11th. And we'll see if I need to sell a kidney <laughs> to pay my taxes this year. Or if I did pretty good with my estimated taxes. <laughs> Kathy says she hates preparing hers, too. Oh, somebody's having problems with their video. I am watching it on my iPad, and it is running right along. So I'm thinking maybe it's your internet is having some hiccups, perhaps. Um, and I hate it when I hear that. Uh, retreat boxes. Everybody's getting their retreat boxes. They went out in the mail Monday morning, and I can't tell you guys how um, grateful I am that you signed up for the retreat. Those of you that did the retreat, everybody's getting their boxes, and they're blown away by all the Stampin' Up! product in there, and all the videos, and all the make and take. So you're welcome, and thank you so much for um, participating in the retreat. Now, we will have, and our next big event is going to be an annual catalog kickoff. We will have information coming out on dates and times and costs and all of that stuff later this month. So just, I'll, I'll mention it here, obviously, but we don't have that completely planned yet. So I just wanted to let you guys know it's coming. And, um, okay, I've got some things that I want to show you on my computer. Online classes. We are going to be using the Dahlia Days stamp set tonight to make some really pretty and easy cards. I think you guys are going to love these. That is the class that I'm doing with Barb and Dina in the month of April. That's our April online class is Dahlia Days, and we are pairing it up with fun folds. So there's going to be nine different fun folds. Yay! And we have product is Dahlia Days Bundle. Flowering Fields Designer Series Paper. That's the tulip paper. Um, where did it go? Polished Dots, Crinkled Seam Binding, and Expressions in Ink Ephemera Kit. If you order the entire bundle from us, there's a place where you can register for it on my blog. You will get the online class and the pre-cut card stock for nine cards, all fun folds for free. When you order option number two, it's $48. You're going to get the ribbon, the polished dots, the ephemera pack, and pre-cut cardstock for nine fun folds using the Dahlia Days. So, yay! Nina said hers came on Tuesday. I think that's what I just it just blew through on my, on, my, on my comments. Is that set carrying over? It is not. It is retiring. So, um, this will be a great way to get... Nine card ideas. I'm going to give you three more tonight, and I think you're going to love this. I love the intricate die that is part of the set of dies, and then, of course, the images for in the stamp set are absolutely gorgeous. Next up, for my kit class for April, I am using the Gumball Greetings. Oh, my gosh, it has little domes to make shaker cards. So absolutely adorable. Uh, who just said they received... Jamie received her Bojig. Yay, I have another shipment of Bojigs coming. I'm out right now. But people have been ordering them in the last couple days, and I'm telling them I'm out until my order comes in, so just know that. But I will have more coming in. 
How do you adhere? Um, I would use liquid glue for the ephemera elements. That's what I've used in the past. Um, yeah, just liquid glue. Yep. Donna loved her glue holder. There were some surprises. There were some um, gifts in with the retreat, and one of them was a glue holder. Did you guys like your other little gift? <laughs> Lots of fun there. Yes. Um, so, Gumball Greetings, that kit class is uh, $54. It includes the Gumball Shaker Domes, the Frosted Beads Assortments, Baker's Twine Essential Pack, and a pack of 6x6 Brights Designer Series Paper. All of that is retiring with the Spring Mini Catalog. So um, just know that. And if you want to, you can add on the bundle. So the kit is $54. If you want to add on the bundle, your total would be $104. That does include tax and shipping. Also... I am going to be doing Cards and Bingo this month. I am planning on a date of April 27th, 7 p.m. I think I have um, advertising going out with a sign-up on the 8th of April. I believe that's the date that I have it scheduled to go out so that you can order it. Yay! And somebody just said something about their hooves. Uh, I'm looking. I can't see it, but I will go back and look. <laughs> Okay, um, kits. Oh, gosh, I was going to go through my kits. You guys know that the turtle punch is gone. Like, it's it, they retired it, and now they're out of stock. I do happen to have one kit left with turtle friends. Um, you get The whole kit has the turtle friends punch in it, as well as the Sneam set. If you did not get an opportunity to get that and you would like it, you can go to my online class tab on my blog and go until you find Turtle Friends online class and get the option with the bundle. One left. I also have some other classes on there. You can take a look at those and see what's retiring. Um, <laughs> Donna's husband loves the gumball machine. That is so cute. I love that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Uh, sticky kits are still available. Oh, I want, as I was cleaning out my tax stuff, all of my receipts from last year, I found a thing that I had printed off from Facebook. And it said, while you're on Facebook, you should click the bell during my live. There's a bell someplace, apparently. And I don't know where it is, but if you find the bell, you want to click that while I'm live. And then Facebook will give you notifications when I go live. So... I found that and I thought, oh, I'm going to tell everybody about that. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. You can click like on the Facebook page right now. You can click like later if you're watching after I'm done being live. And you can also give me a thumbs up on YouTube later. I always appreciate that. On YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You are going to find a subscribe button down in the left-hand corner. And I'm going to see if that's backwards because I always forget to point backwards you know where our screen is mirrored it's kind of goofy and it's delayed so I'm trying to watch <laughs> um, mystery grab bags are going out this week I had a, an ordering special um, for part of March and you got a small mystery grab bag or a large mystery grab bag based on your order I'm gonna have those going out in the mail this week also if you're part of my technique club those cards are going out in the mail um, or tomorrow or Tuesday, so watch for those. Going to be lots of things happening here in my office. And I think we should do prizes. So there are three ways that you can win a prize when you're watching me live. And one of the ways is to just leave a comment. Everybody who leaves a comment is going to be entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have some adhesive-backed hexagons. I almost called them sequins. Adhesive back sequins. These are really, really nice. And these are going out to Kathy Showalter of Wisconsin. Kathy, congratulations. And I saw that Kathy's, I believe it's her son, was home. He's been studying abroad, I think, or he took a trip abroad. I can't quite remember the details, but it looks like she's pretty happy to have him home. Congratulations, Kathy. 
Also for leaving a com or um, sharing the video, that's the second way that you can win fabulous prizes is to click on that share button. Some place on your screen right now is a share button. You can share my video and that really helps me grow my business and I appreciate it. I have a pack of the paper lattice. These, you get 10 in a pack. These are so cool to use in your card making or scrapbooking. And I have this pack going out to Kathleen Ward of Illinois. Congratulations, Kathleen. And then the last way is to place an order. I am going to be giving away this punch party stamp set. This lines up with a whole bunch of different punches, dies. Um, this is for placing an order within the last week. And Tana Zabla of Nevada, this is coming your way. Congratulations. I'm going to set these over here so I do not lose them in the craziness that is about to happen. Hi, Kathy Wenzel. I'm happy to see you here. I'm going to set my iPad back there. I think I covered everything. The only other thing, whoops, let me put this over there. The only other thing that I wanted to do, I'm going to turn my camera around and I wanted to make sure. Uh, where did that card go from Kathy? The, hang on, I gotta find a card. Here it is, or Cynthia, Cynthia's card. Last week you guys asked me to show you Cynthia's card, how to make Cynthia's card, and I'm gonna do one better. I have already made a video about her card, and if you recall correctly, this is Cynthia's card. Look at how cool this is. Ah, isn't it gorgeous? And I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And do you know that I did not remember that I recently, well, I don't guess it was recent, but I actually showed this in a Facebook Live. <laughs> that's where. That's why I have so much trouble with my taxes, okay? <laughs> um, so this is a layout that I have shown, and it is super, super cool. It looks like, oh my Lord, it looks so complicated, doesn't it? It is so not complicated. So I'm going to show you how to find that so that you can go back and look at that video and you'll find the dimensions on my blog. Also, I wanted to remind you guys that I have a free download for the cards that I'm making now that I'm posting on my vid on my on my blog. You'll find the free download on my blog and that is where you click on it. It opens up into a PDF. You'll see the picture, you'll see ingredients, dimensions, instructions, and a link to the video so that you can download these to your computer or you can print them out. If you have like a three ring binder you're putting them in, that works great too. Um, anything you wanna do with them, you can do that. So I am going to pop open my blog here. I think we're ready to turn the camera around. Yay! So let's do that, and I'll show you just a couple things that'll help you have a little more success with your online searching. Okay, this is my laptop, and my blog is astampabove.com. So you just type in www.astampabove.com in a new window, a search window, and you will find my blog. But I wanted to show you how to find Cynthia's card, and... It is actually in the archive. So I'm just scrolling down, scrolling down. Now this is gonna look different on a different device. If you're on a phone, it's gonna look different than it does right here, but all the same stuff is still available to you. So right over here in this right-hand column are all kinds of great stuff, great things. One of the things is archives. So when you click over here on more, it's going to give you more selections. This is years and years. Look at all the years. I started blogging in 2007. Holy cow, right? So I did a search and it took me quite a while to find this. But it, the, the card, Cynthia's card here, is on my blog on May 13th of 2021. So I'm going to go to May 2021, that's gonna pull up all my blog posts in May. And we're going to look for May 13th. And I'm sorry, I hope I don't make anybody dizzy by flying through there. So we've got some great cards happening here. Like I, I love looking through this like, oh, those were so pretty, weren't they? And we've got a double stenciling technique happening in May. 
Uh, here's a blog hop using the hugs. I'm just going to get to the card that I'm looking for so you'll know how to find it. Some more beautiful cards. And here it is right here. It was the One Stamp at a Time blog hop mashup. May 13th, you can see May 13th right there. And here is the video. It wasn't a Facebook Live, it was a video. And I used the gorgeous tree set in the Earth Designer Series paper, the beautiful Beauty of Friendship bundle and the Earth Designer Series paper. And I'm pretty sure that the, the one or the other, the stamp set or the dies are carrying over, but the other one isn't. And I think the stamp set is carrying over to the annual catalog, but not the dies on this um, Beauty of Friendship bundle. So anyways, that's how you're going to find this. You go to my blog. You're going to click on the archives that are in the right-hand column. And you just keep scrolling down until you find them right over here. And there they are. You're going to click on More and then go to May 2021. And then as long as we're right here, this is where all the goodies are on my blog. Um, I'm going to, let's see, we've got Last Chance Products. I wanted to show you what you're looking for when you're looking for the down, oh, let me go home. When you're looking for the download, there's a free download you can print off. And you are going to find that with, uh, you're also going to find Right here, you make it. Click here to download the complete project sheet. So this particular card, you can click right here. When that opens up, here is an entire project sheet. Dimensions, directions, pictures, all the ingredients are listed here and you can print it off. So that's how that works. Okay, so you make it is where you're gonna find the free downloads. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the online class tab right here. Click that. That'll take you to a page on my blog that shows all my online classes. This is where you're going to find that turtle class. Here is the fun folds using the Dahlia Days. You click here to register. Here's my sticky kit. You click here to buy. Here's my gumball greetings kit. You click here to register or you can get the PDF. That class will be available. Um, kit, packets are going out on 418, so I will have the PDF, the PDF file available with the videos by then too. But lots and lots of classes on here. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to find them and where they were. And now I think it's time to stamp. What do you guys think? So are you guys ready for stamping? Woohoo! I think we're ready. All right. I know sometimes we don't always know where everything is and it can get a little confusing, right? So I figured it would be nice to just share with you where all these things are. We are going to be using my bow jig. And these are the bow jigs that um, I have available. They're $10. And I don't really make money off of them, but I am happy to supply them. Um, the $10 covers the cost of somebody else making this. And then also the shipping to get it to you with a padded envelope. So I should be getting another um, order of these in the mail soon, I hope. And I, I, not in the mail. They'll be dropped off here as soon as somebody gets them done. All right. We are going to be using the fabulous, I'm looking for my mini catalog here. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. This, you guys, is the Abstract Beauty Cards and Envelopes. How many of you have this card and envelope pack from the mini catalog? I'm going to pull this out and show it to you. You get 10 beautiful envelopes. I love when the inside of envelopes are decorated. Look at them. They're all different. Aren't these fun? So you get 10 envelopes and you get 10 card bases. So I'll just run through all of them. This is called the Abstract Beauty Card, whoops, Cards and Envelopes. These two are over here. There we go. But these are just card bases. They're already scored. So you just fold them in half and then you grab your bone folder 
burnish that edge. We are going to be using three of these. We're gonna do this one. We are going to do this pretty one. And let me think, what's our other one? Is it this blue? I think it's this blue one. We're gonna do this blue one. So I'm gonna get those cards ready. And then I'm going to pull out, oh, I know, I was gonna show this to you. These are part of the Abstract Beauty Suite on page 48, 49 in the mini catalog, also carried over onto page 50. Got a whole bunch of ideas in here using these, but there's also, that's where those um, adhesive-backed hexagons are that, let's see, Kathy Showalter won in a drawing tonight. Also, there is an ephemera pack. We've got four by six designer series paper, as well as a stamp set and dies. And then here is that abstract beauty cards and envelopes. 10 card bases, 10 matching envelopes. And the other cool thing is these are four by six. So they're a little different size, four by six. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to start with, let me see, where is all my goodies? Here we go. I am going to start with this one. And let me move these out of the way. Keep getting all my stuff out here. Uh, we're gonna be using the Fabulous Stamparatus. How many of you have a positioning tool that you use when you're stamping? I think these come in really handy and I'm gonna show you a cool way to use it to make multiples really, really easy. I've got the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Here comes our Dahlia Days. This is such a pretty bundle. And this right here, the flowers in the label, and there's a die that cuts it out. That's what really drew me, as well as this, of course, because that's gorgeous. But we've got all of these flowers, all of the little leaf sprigs, and this beautiful, beautiful label with those flowers on it. I love stuff like that. So I'm gonna get these out and put them right over here. And we're gonna be using adhesive sheets. How many of you have used these adhesive sheets? They turn your cardstock into a sticker. And they're really nice for using on these very intricate dies. So I remembered, like I always forget, I had them out on my desk and I'm like, oh, this would work perfect for this card. And ink pads. We are going to be using <clears throat> polished pink. Balmy Blue, Misty Moonlight, and Memento Black. This card, just the, um, the polished pink and the Memento Black. I've also got my Wink of Stella here, as well as the Dark Polished Pink and the Dark Balmy Blue. That'll be for another one of our cards. And our stamp set and our crinkled ribbon. So... In with the fun fold class is the crinkled ribbon. I wanted to make sure that you um, get to see how useful this is. It's just, it's, it's always fantastic to have ribbon that you can color. So the first thing I'm gonna do, where did my cardstock pack go? Who sees it? Oh, right here. Oh, look it. This is magnetic and this came right out of my bow jig. <laughs> Hitchhikers. Okay, so here we go. I've got some white scraps and I've got a piece of black. Now this is just a scrap of black, but you're gonna need a four by five and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock. And we're going to die cut this. So let me grab my die cutting machine. Oftentimes I die cut this stuff ahead of time, but there are certain times when I want you to see this in action because I think it's important. Whoops. You need a clear plate. Brr. Almost made a disaster out of that. You'd think I'd never use this thing, right? And another. I just want to make sure that this is completely on my cardstock. And now we're going to run it through. Now, this is a really intricate die. So 
The one thing that I want to tell you about is, oh, hang on. This is so weird. My, um, my iPad is not playing the right video anymore, and that's so strange. Here we go. Okay. Huh. Maybe I was, <laughs> maybe I was watching the wrong one. I don't know. Anyways, I like to run this through and then run it back. I have been watching your comments on my phone, so thank goodness for that, right? <laughs> I think I wore, did I wear the same sweater last week? I think I did. That's why I was confused. Oh my good Lord. Now, one thing I want to tell you is when you have a really intricate die like this, I like to turn it over and look at the back because sometimes right in the middle of the die, it hasn't die cut all the way. And if I look at it right now, I can take this, let's say we ran it through this way. I can take this and I can run it through a little bit at an angle one more time because these intricate dies are hard okay oh I still have the wrong video hang on there we go no I think I had the right one sorry you guys <laughs> technology can be confusing right <laughs> okay so here we go Look at how nicely that all comes off. Now, when I'm using something that's this intricate, I like to get out my dye brush adapter. And I actually have two take your pick tools. And this is just a little adapter that goes on the end. You can order this, I think it's $9. It comes with the brush. And then it also comes with two of these foam pads. And I just keep mine in a paper pumpkin box that I've turned inside out. And every time I show this, somebody asks, why did you turn the paper pumpkin box inside out? The reason why is because I have a lot of paper pumpkin boxes in my office. And if I have this one looking like this versus a red paper pumpkin box, I'm not going to, it's not going to get lost someplace. I know this is my dye brush. So I like to leave the dye on my cardstock because you can be really, really aggressive if you have that metal on here. If you peel this off and then have to try to get the bits and pieces out, you have to be a little more delicate, well, quite a bit more delicate so that you don't, you know, destroy your cardstock. Look at all those little bits. Isn't that cool? And look, so few are left in here. Now, this is one of the reasons why I'm showing this to you rather than going, and here it is, die cut. There's little holes all over on this die, and that's because this is stuck in there pretty good. So you need to poke out some of these little holes that pushes that cardstock out so you can grab onto it and get it out of this die. There's... There's a reason for all those little holes. And I just kind of go along one side, one edge, until I have it popping out like this. And you're gonna be gentle with this because this is just paper, remember? But now you can take this and you can pull it right off and just look at how beautiful that is. It's so incredibly beautiful. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to show you. Hang on, I'm just gonna put this out of the way now. The other thing that I wanted to show you is this. Usually we stamp and we stamp our image and then we put our dye on there and then we you know, hold it in place with some washi tape or whatever. What we're gonna do is we are going to take the dye and the other cool thing I want to show you is if, like, I usually make a lot of cards at once. Like, if I design one card, I'm making several of them. And I will, this is two pieces of basic white cardstock. And I am going to run this die through, and it'll cut two of these out at once. So, this is just a time saver for you. I know probably most of you know this, but there are some that might not know that you can cut two at one time which is pretty neat. 
and there we go. We have two of these. Now I've cut a whole bunch of them so that I could show you how to make the most out of this. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to put it. I'm gonna bring in my Stamparatus. Now all of our Stamparatuses come with two plates and these plates come out, they're adjustable, you can move them around, but when you store your Stamparatus, you do not wanna leave this in the hinges for that second plate. Here's plate one, here's plate two. It will not lay flat, you will break things. You take it out of here and then you can store it like that, okay? I just wanna make sure everybody knows that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to move my magnets. This is a chintzy cheapo piece of cardstock. This is not Stampin' Up! Basic White, okay? I just wanna make that perfectly clear. I would not waste cardstock like that. So this is a cheapo, crummy piece of cardstock. What I'm gonna do is I am going to take, where that, here's my polished pink. I'm gonna take my polished pink and I'm going to ink up the label. And I'm going to, now I've got this piece of paper all the way in the corner, all the way over to the edge. I'm gonna ink that. Now I'm gonna pull this out of here. And I am going to die cut this. So I've got a little piece of temporary tape. Now this is the most important cut. You have to make sure that this is in place, that you've got it on here as it should be so that you can die cut this because this is gonna be our template. So I'm gonna run this through, hang tight. Okay, here we come. Let me move this ink pad. Here comes our Stamparatus again. We're gonna pop this out. Let me put my tape back. This is chintzy cardstock, I'm not using that. I'm kind of a snob like that. <laughs> I'm going to take my magnets, put them back in place, and now we're going to grab, where did all those pieces go? Hang on, I've got a whole bunch of these cut. Oh, shoot. Kelly, 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 I forgot to show you something. We're gonna have to do another one. Here we go. All right, here comes all of these pieces. Okay, I've cut out a whole bunch of these. So this is an easy way that you can use your Stamparatus as a template. We're gonna do this. Yay. And then we're gonna grab our Memento and I've got this one lined up over here already. And I did test this out to make sure that it would be straight and look decent. But all you do, I should have shown you that. So look at how cool is that? All you do is you take this one. I just cleaned it so I don't get my fingers all dirty. And you're going to set this in here. And then you set this in here where you want it to be. I usually test it out on a scrap you know, not a good one that I cut, but one of those chintzy um, um, cardstock ones. Pick that up and now it's in place. And you can just make a whole bunch of these without having to put the tape on, without having to do all the things. And you know, every once in a while your tape moves, your die moves, you cut it crooked, you gotta start over. Look at how very cool this is perfect every time so as long as we're doing these i am going to be making two other colored cards so i'm going to stamp those up right away too i'm just using my um chamois to clean that off then we're going to use a misty moonlight i'm going to do a misty moonlight one Oh, look, I didn't get ink on that edge down there. Watch this. Let's just do it again. Because you're using your Stamparatus, you can do that with these. Oh, I don't like that. Look at how thick it is. I must have moved it a little bit. No worries. Look how many of these I have cut. 
Got to make sure that this is in the corner and on the edges. This is a great way to do your Easter cards because you're making a lot of them, right? Your Christmas cards. Maybe you're going to make up a whole set of birthday cards. I'm going to put this back in here and do my sentiment that says, You are beyond incredible. Oops, I didn't get that inked very good, did I? Let's do it again. There we go. Perfect. Then we're going to do another one using the balmy blue. Set this in here. Take this. Don't forget to clean your stamp off before you change ink colors because we all know how that goes, right? <laughs> oh, Mary just says she just bought a chamois. Do you wet it before using? Yes, you put it under the sink, pour water on it, and then I squeeze it. Squeeze it out. And then I have an empty stamp case that I keep mine stored in. And I just keep this closed and put it right there on my desk. That's what I do with my um, chamois. So that's a great question. I'm glad you're asking that. Here comes Balmy Blue. And it moved on me. Did you see that? This moved. So good thing I have a whole bunch of these, right? <laughs> and here we go. Ooh, that turned out really good. I'm going to leave that in there and bring my black in. And stamp, you are beyond incredible. There we go. So we've got all of our labels ready. And then, of course, I have more cut here. So I can make up some more, change the colors, clean these off. I'm gonna clean this off right now so I don't make a big mess out of things. But yeah, this is this is the Stamparatus and it is an incredible tool, especially if you're making multiples of a card where you have a die that you have to stamp and then die cut. Like who wants to do all that? Well, it's easy if you have a positioning tool like this. Okay. I, I think I told you guys that all of my, all the things that I use to make these cards, you can find on my blog in the shopping list. It's an ingredient list that'll tell you all the things that I use to make these. So you'll, you'll be able to know the names and all of that stuff. Like, oh, what did she call those seek, those hexagon things? And you can go there and look and find out exactly what they're called. Okay, back to our card. I'm looking for it right here. Okay, so I was going to use a adhesive sheet on this, but I completely forgot. I can't remember to get them out of the cupboard and I can't remember to actually use them. So that's great. <laughs> I think maybe we'll just make another one because I am not in a hurry tonight. I don't know about you guys, but I wanted to kind of show you how I did that. Now I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and Ever since I made Wendy Sue's card from last week, where is that card? This one right here. Yeah, you see all the wink of Stella on the little black sprigs and also on the Bermuda. I just thought that was so beautiful. So that got me thinking when I was creating this card, like oh, I should do some wink of Stella. And of course you can do the wink of Stella on your piece of cardstock before you die cut it. But, oh, is this one empty? Nope, it's still got some. But this is just as easy. And, you know, you can take your time and make sure you cover every little square inch of it. But I'm, I'm just not that concerned. This is going to give this a little bit of sparkle. Absolutely beautiful. You see, notice how I'm just like kind of blop, 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 blop. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Let me see. So Steve has been building a shelving unit in his garage. He got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And he's building a shelving unit that holds like bins, you know, like big Rubbermaid bins. That was his project all weekend. And he was really having a good time with it. And he kept calling, come out and see, come out and see. I'm like, really? So I went out and saw 
And he, he, I was like, wow, that's really nice. I was impressed. He's getting, getting geared up. Look at all the pretty, isn't that gorgeous? He's getting geared up to make, um, build a deck. <laughs> we need a deck off the back of our house. Not a big deck, but a deck. Okay, so I'm going to use my sponge dauber because I forgot to do my, my, um, you know, yeah, my self-adhesive sheet. So I'm going to take this, we're going to do a sponge dauber, and I'm going to, I like to kind of spread this out a little bit, then we're just going to put, you don't need to get too crazy with the glue, right? We're not going to hang our coat on this. It just needs to stick to a card front. Good deal. Okay, you wanna make sure when you're doing this, you're not letting it move around so that you get this glue on the front of your intricate die. Here comes our card front. Oh, I'm like, why is there glue showing? Well, it's okay. Here we go. This fits right on the front of these cards. Oh my good grief. Isn't that pretty? I love the color behind it. It's an ombre effect with different colors. Is that is that still ombre? I think it is. We're gonna take a piece of this ribbon. Do your ribbon first, I kind of forgot, but do your ribbon, your seam binding first because we're going to be coloring it and you definitely want that to dry looking for my scissors here. So I'm gonna do that. Stamp and blend alcohol markers, and this stuff is the bomb. You get a whole roll of this with the Dahlia Days Fun Fold class. You get a whole roll of this seam binding. You can make it any color you have color for, any color. I'm just gonna let that dry now, and we're going to take our label and I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. These cards are just so quick and easy to make with that great big die. It's like, woohoo! very nice. Take this one and I'm gonna put this right down here. Is this dry? Yep, it's dry. I'm going to use my bow jag to tie a bow or you just tie a regular bow, but this is easier for me. And it ties a perfect bow every time. Oops, I can get it in there. There we go. And then I'll grab my mini glue dots. Take your pick tool. Oops, hey, come back here. And I'm gonna put my bow right over here. I like to kind of manipulate it a little bit. Oh my good grief. Isn't that pretty? What do you guys think? Can you even see the Wink of Stella on that black? You may not be able to see it in the camera, but it is stunning in real life. <gasps> Lola, you're in Arizona, you lucky dog. I was chatting with a friend today and she's in Texas. And I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. It was like 90 degrees or something there. Okay, I wanna stamp the inside of this card and I'm going to say thank you for your kindness. You guys know that I use lots of thank you cards, so that's what I make. But you can make this a birthday card, anything you want sentiment right there. And then I'm gonna grab my polished pink. These images that are in with the stamp set. I'm just gonna do a couple of those. And then where did my envelopes go that I wanted to use? Did I pull those out yet? I'm gonna use this polka dotted one. I'll use this blue one. That'll go with my blue card. And hang on, I'm looking for one more. I think I'll use this one right here for the card that we're working on right now. So I'm gonna take, isn't that pretty? I love these insides of these envelopes. I'm going to take that beautiful dahlia and I am going to 
stamp that and polish pink all over my envelope front here. Okay, super quick and easy, right? <laughs> Gig wants to know the Stamparatus. This is called a Stamparatus, S-T-A-M-P-A-R-T-U-S. Elaine wants to know what pink. This is polished pink, polished pink. I'm pretty sure that's one of our in colors that is retiring, polished pink. It's a beautiful color. All right, we're gonna put that over here. And I do wanna show you, oh, I know what I can do. I've got some scraps here. And I can show you. Oh. Here comes some more polished pink. So let me grab, I've got a piece of the um, self-adhesive sheet. These are adhesive sheets, okay? And what I did, Where's my ruler? Right here. I cut it smaller than my layer. So this is three by four and a half. Doesn't really matter, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the backing off and I'm gonna stick this right in the middle of my cardstock, okay? And this is gonna take a little bit of extra time because I meant to do that on the black piece that we ran through that we just did, but I forgot. So we're gonna do it again. We're going to take the die. You wanna take your cardstock now, this is sticky. This is gonna make this a sticker. You are going to turn it over. Oh, polished pink is not retiring. Thank you very much. The um, Magenta Madness is retiring. Thank you for clarifying that. You guys know that I, oh gosh, I have such a hard time remembering all those. The new in colors are coming. I've seen them. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with them. Okay, so I've got it on this side and my sticky is on this side and it doesn't cover the whole piece because it's just not necessary. Maybe on some other dies you would need it to cover the whole piece, but for this one, we don't. So hang on, let me pull this back a little bit so I can get this run through. And again, I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna look at the back and I can see this is not die cut right here, okay? This is a very intricate die. So running it through twice for me was the ticket. I'm just gonna put it at a slight angle now and run it through again. We're gonna look at it again. I don't think that this is cut yet. It might be, but the backing on this adhesive paper isn't. So now I'm gonna run it through this way. And it's usually kind of unusual to need to do it three times. So don't let that, you know, throw you off. But you definitely wanna make sure that you've got that die cut all the way before you start taking the bits and pieces out. And I think it is die cut now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pokey. Yep, it's just that backing paper. The cardstock is die cut, so we won't worry about that. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're going to use the Misty Moonlighter Night of Maybe card base. I'm going to grab, sorry, that was really loud. I'm going to grab my die brush again, leave the die on my cardstock, and we're gonna get our bits and pieces out. This is what I wanted to do on that first card I made, and I forgot to put that darn adhesive paper on there, because I always forget it. You guys will do better. <laughs> I know this about you. Okay, all of our bits and pieces. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh boy. Here we go. Here comes our sticky. This is all a big sticker now. Let me see if I can get this 
Yep, here it comes. It's it's kind of sticking to me, so that's kind of handy. And we're just going to make sure we have all the, look at that, all the bits and pieces are out. I've got a few that got stuck on the sticker right here, so let me get those off of here so they don't look, so you can't see them from the front. That, that was kind of my mistake. Okay. Oh, and we have a little bit more. So if that wouldn't have peeled right off, what you do is you just stick your, take your pick tool under there and you pull off the backing paper. I just wanna get all those there. Okay, now we're gonna take this. We're gonna stick it right on this card front. And look at that. Ah, it's definitely worth it to use that for sure. Okay, now this one I am going to take, whoops, hang on. And I'm going to grab those dimensionals again. Here they are. Happy accidents, yeah, exactly. I like it when it's a happy accident, right? Versus an, oh my gosh, what have I done? <laughs> type of accident. This one, I'm going to take my label and put it right down here. And then I'm gonna grab that ribbon again. Does anybody see the ribbon? Here it is. Grab the ribbon again. And again, I'm gonna do about eight and a half inches. And I'm just going to tie, I'm gonna leave my ribbon white this time. I thought that would just be, um, it pops nicely with my navy or misty moonlight card base. Aren't these easy? Like once you get the die done, you could sit down, watch your favorite TV program, do a bunch of these intricate dies in various colors that match these card bases. Having these card bases already done and scored and the pretty background on them is really neat, I think. <clears throat> okay, looking for my envelope. Um, gosh, I'm really kind of on a struggle bus tonight. Here it is. Like, why is this causing me so many problems? <laughs> okay, here comes. We're gonna use, we've got, we've got blue and pink here. So I think we're gonna do blue and pink flowers. And I'm gonna take that dahlia, this is our envelope. And I am just going to add a couple, ooh, this is so pretty, isn't it? A couple of those. And then a couple of the polished pink little flowers. Oh, so pretty. We're gonna come back and we're going to embellish these as soon as we're done with our next card. Then I'm going to grab the inside sentiment. I'm gonna stamp that in black. Thank you for your kindness. And I think I'll just do one little polished pink flower right there. There's another one. Okay, let me set this over here. Set this over here and this over here and one more. This one I think might be my favorite. This is gonna be our envelope. So I'm going to clean off my stamps. I can close this up. I'm gonna bring in my balmy blue. I'm gonna stamp my envelope up first. I'm gonna do, oh, this is so pretty. I just re-inked this, it was getting kind of dull. So I added some ink before I came on and oh, I love, isn't, aren't they so pretty? Like remember, there is a die for all of these other elements that are in this stamp set too. And I'm not even using it, I'm just using the big die with the label but there's dies for all of these little elements, which makes this a really fun set. Okay, so we have that. Next, what we're gonna do is I have, oh, 
This is white. I've already die cut this and it's got the sticky paper on it. So I am just going to use my take your pick tool to pull this off here. This is the way it was supposed to work, you guys. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Here comes our beautiful watercolored card. And I am just going to take this and put it right over that. <gasps> Isn't that just so soft and pretty? Now remember, I only had that sticker paper on the inside part of this because I don't think this part needs to be glued down. I like that it's kind of lifted up a little bit. Now we're gonna take, we're gonna take some more of this ribbon. I'm gonna grab eight and a half inches or so. And I've got that balmy blue dark Stampin' Blend marker. Jenny needs it. I like it, Jenny. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, color this balmy blue. Just wanna make sure I get that other end. I'm gonna set this aside. Whoops, <laughs> so it can dry. Um, I think that I will stamp one of these balmy blue flowers right down here on the inside of my card. And then the thank you for your kindness. And again, you could make these get well cards. You could make them sympathy cards. You can make them wedding cards. They would really work well for just about anything. And now in my um, online class, you're going to get nine more ideas using this particular bundle, and they're all going to be fun folds. Like, I'm really, really excited about that. Here comes our pretty little label. And again, you could color these with the um, Wink of Stella if you wanted to. Hang on, I just got ink all over my finger. Where'd my dimensionals go? Here they are. But yeah, so you'll have these cards. And of course you can use any card base you want, but I chose to use those um, abstract beauty cards because they're so, they're already done and they have envelopes and oh my gosh, just makes life so, so simple. Now this one I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put it right over here. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon and my bow jig. And my ribbon is dry already, so that's good. It gets kind of stiff. The alcohol marker makes the ribbon a little stiffer than before you colored it, but it just, if you just manipulate it with your fingers a little bit, it kind of softens back up. Here we go. I was supposed to go over to Anna's house today and I ran out of time. Molly and Andy both have dance recitals this Friday. And oh my gosh, they're so fun to go to their little dance things. I absolutely love them. And I have to check out their costumes and make any alterations because I'm the only one in the family who knows how to do that. <laughs> so I have to take them in a little bit or nip and tuck there or whatever. I don't know. Ham them. That's what I do. All right. So here's this. Now, let me move these out of my way so I don't ruin anything here. Ooh, here's an extra one. I'm gonna take that, good grief. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting stuck to everything. I'm gonna put that in my stamp set so I can use it on a future card. Last but not least, we're gonna pull in some of these iridescent rhinestones because as you guys well know, they are my favorite. They're like my all time favorite love these things and I'm just going to put them in the center of some of the flowers on here that's that's what I'm choosing to do and of course you could sprinkle them all over the place but I'm just putting three on each one what do you think that little bit of bling yay thank you guys so much I really appreciate it um next up here comes this one and we are going to do the same thing. I'm gonna grab and put these right on the center of the flowers. And I love these iridescent because they look the same color. No matter what card you put them on, they, they change with your card. Now they look pink, right? So we've got that. 
And then we're gonna bring this one in and we'll put some on the center of my black flowers. And now they're, just look a different color. These are my favorite, all time favorite. Mm, let's see, I think I'll put one right there. I didn't have another flower like that to do because I covered it up with my label. Hey, you guys. Get this stuff out of the way. Move all my trash. Come on, there we go. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> Here we go. Easy, right? Super, super easy, you guys. These pre-made cards have just the prettiest background. I absolutely loved these. So fun, quick and easy. You can sit in front of the TV and die cut a whole bunch of these, right? In all kinds of colors to match. All right, let me get, take a break, get a drink. Do what you need to do. I have to reset here. And I have some really, really cute, cute cards with the gumball set. You guys are going to love them. It's a fun fold. Birthday cards. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we're ready. Um, what did I do with those card bases? Oh, here they are. Right here. Again, this was the abstract beauty cards and envelopes. You get... 10 cards and 10 envelopes in a pack for $10. And then don't forget about the adhesive sheets. This is one of those things that you should just really have. These you get, these come in six by 12. You get 12 sheets of them. That will last you like forever. And they are $10, 12 sheets for $10. It's a really good deal too. This is my current host code right here. If you are placing an order with me, you know I always appreciate your orders. Please use that code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, do not use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. Okay, who's ready for the next card? Okay, let me move some of the stuff off my desk so I have room to operate here and get a drink. I am drinking my strawberry lemonade. What are you guys drinking? I want to hear from you. Who has this designer series paper? The Sweet Talk designer series paper. I love this. I use it tons to make Valentine cards, right? Back in January, February. But one of the things I love about our paper is that the other side of it has patterns that don't necessarily need to be used for the holiday, even our Halloween paper. The other side has something on it that can be non-Halloween. So I see we have Dr. Pepper, water, water, coffee, all kinds of good stuff. Iced tea, Chris is drinking iced tea. Okay. I'm going to be pulling the happy birthday out of the Celebrating You stamp set. This is a great sentiment set. Let me get my little notes up here so I know what my dimensions are. Okay. We're going to be using the gumball greetings. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fun. This Today was the first time that I played with this and I absolutely love it. Julie, I hope you have some milk or some cookies to go with that glass of milk. <laughs> Hi, Janet Rose. Um, this was a really fun set. There's all kinds of neat little elements in here. I'll be sharing that with you. And we're gonna be using some tear and tape. I've got Memento Black Ink, Bermuda Bay. I've got two different color cards to share with you using the same layout. I am using the checks and dots embossing folder. These are one of those small sets. You get both of them in a pack called checks and dots. And these fit through the mini boss, which is our mini die cutting machine. 
These are the Gumball Machine Shaker Domes. These are self-adhesive. We'll be using one of these. I am excited to show you these because they're pretty cool. And again, today was the first day that I actually made something with this gumball and I was almost giddy. Like my husband will come in the house and he'll be like, what's going on up there? And I'm like, oh my gosh, look what I made. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> right? Okay, I've got my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Right marker and also my blends. Oops, hang on. Things are flying. Here are the Frosted Beads assortment. Look at how funny these, and they are. They're like little frosted balls. They're so pretty. I'm also going to be using the round and square brads. They come in black or black and white. The Essential Baker's Twine Pack. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Get started. Here comes all our bits and pieces. Woo! Let me move this out of the way. And I'll tell you about the bits and pieces. So, this is part of our, um, ooh, uh, oh, what is this called? Brushed, brushed. Oh, I can't remember. Hang on. Brush card sock. I know I've got some up here. Brushed foil specialty paper. Brushed foil specialty paper. So, Michelle says brads are one of her favorites. Not used much anymore, but I like them. Yeah, I'm totally with you. I completely agree. This is the brushed... And look at how pretty this is. This is kind of a purple. This is kind of a mauve. And then we've got brushed silver. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. It comes in 12 by 12. We're going to be using a little piece of the silver. Okay. Um, I've also got a scrap of Bermuda Bay and a scrap of basic white. We've got two pieces of the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. Okay, this is the one with the hearts on the back and the pretty colored stripes on the front. You need two of these at one by four. Remember, all the dimensions for these cards that I'm making tonight can be found on my blog after I get it uploaded. So just know it takes me a little bit um, before I get everything onto my blog. I have to upload the video to YouTube and then publish it. So you gotta give me a couple hours after I'm done to get all that completed. Just so you know, it's like not an instant thing. Okay, this is our card base. This is four and a quarter by eight. We're gonna do a little scoring on this. We are going to score this at one and a quarter. And again, all of this will be in the free download you can print out too. And six and three quarters. So one and a quarter and six and three quarters. We're gonna do that. And we are going to get these edges burnished good. I lost my, I always have two bone folders because I always lose one and of course I did. <laughs> I'm right on schedule, don't worry. Yay! Did you guys have supper tonight? I wanna know what was on your supper schedule. I did not eat supper, I had some pistachios. Steve bought this ginormous bag of pistachios from Costco. By the way, this is two and a half by six. I've just got an envelope that I'm going to decorate here. As you guys know, it's not all about the card. Not all about the card. You are welcome, Gay. I am glad that I could answer your question. Nancy had pizza. I had pizza earlier today. Do you know what Steve says? He hates Domino, Domino's pizza, and I love it. He says that it tastes like cardboard. Does anybody see my scissors? For Pete's sakes. Oh, there they are. He says it tastes like cardboard. And you know what I think tastes like cardboard? The pieces you get at the grocery store with cardboard in them, like Tombstone and Jack's. And, I mean, I'll eat them. Don't get me wrong, but... I'll take a Domino's pizza any day over one of those cardboard tasting things. So anyways, he doesn't like them because they don't have enough sauce on them and I forgot to order extra sauce and oh, good Lord. But yeah, he was complaining about that today. 
Like, I can't believe you eat that. So I had pizza, sweet potato fries. Oh, those are my favorite. And a fish sandwich. Yum, Brenda. Um... Yeah, what else? Oh, I had some hash browns left over from um, Haley and Val, and I went out for breakfast the other day after we went to a funeral. Haley's principal from her four-year-old four, four preschool through eighth grade parochial school passed away. Oh, my gosh. He was just our favorite man ever. He was the nicest man. So we went to his funeral or his visitation on Monday. No. Friday. And then we went out for breakfast. And that was nice. But I ordered the country skillet. Oh, so good, right? So good. And I had hash browns left over, so I brought them home. And that's, I had a little bit of hash browns with a piece of pizza. Fish tacos. Yum. That sounds good. <gasps> Sherry got a very nice package from me today. Yay. You're welcome, Sherry. Thank you for ordering. Mmm. Kathy says pizza dough at Aldi's makes great pizza. That's really good to know. I might have to give that a whirl. I'm not above making pizza. I don't cook much, but you know, <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> I think making stuff like that is fun. Okay, so I've got Memento Ink. I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And as long as I'm here, I'm going to get out this Memento. This is our inside layer, you guys. So all the little images in here are stinking adorable. There are 16 different stamps in here, but I've got the gumballs and I'm going to stamp some gumballs right there and right there. And I love how they have that little, that little highlight spot in them. You know, like balloons have those too. Super, super cute. The reason why I have my stamp and write marker is so that I can come in here and color in. The, these letters, these are um, outlined. I'm not doing very good either. I would probably use the smaller end of the marker. Because you're going to have better control. I guess it's not too terrible. What do you guys think? I did okay, right? Okay, so we have this done. And we are going to take some glue we're going to add this to the inside of our card. So this is, these are both the same. Okay. Doesn't matter which one is at top, which one is at the bottom. We're going to do this. Now we're going to grab that tear and tape because we're going to make a pocket. I love fun folds. Don't you love fun folds? It's always like a little surprise. Just makes me happy. Oops. Let me trim that a little bit. I got it a little long. Oh, I don't want to cut the end of my card off. Give me a hard time at this point. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to do one over here. Grab your take your pick tool. Wasn't that cool? That dye brush adapter for the end of this. This is like the best little tool. You guys notice that I use it for glue dots. I use it for this. I use it for embellishments. I use it for everything. Okay, so we got that done. Now we have some big stamping to do and some die cutting. So let's do this. Oh, these are our pieces. Oh, there should be one more piece here. Where did it go? Uh, this is a scrap. Oh, I got it right here. This. I ran this through that dotted embossing folder from the checks and dots, so you could see the polka dots on there. Okay, so this piece right here is two and a half by four and a half. This white piece is two and five eighths by four and five eighths, and this Bermuda piece is two and three quarters by four and three quarters, and these all stack together. But before we do that, we are going to take, uh, we're going to take our scrap and we're going to get our die cutting and our stamping done. So let me think about this a little bit. So this is our scrap. Here we go. We're going to use Memento ink and this is the bottom of our gumball machine. So I'm going to stamp that right there. Yay! 
And then this is the little lid for our gumball machine. We're gonna stamp that, put that right here. And then we're going to grab our dies. I love this too. Look at that little heart. That's like a line of hearts that you can die cut out. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to use all of these elements, you guys. They're gonna be so much fun. So there's a die for that. Here's our bubblegum machine right here. And then with the silver piece, we're going to take this, which is like the money and the in the twisty knob mechanism. We're gonna do that on the brushed silver. And this is the little thing that you twist. So we're gonna die cut that, that, and that. And then we need one more before we do anything. Here is our, what do you call this? The globe, the dome, the, the globe for the, you know, that thing. <laughs> you can also, <clears throat> before I forget, you can also um, use this for a fish bowl. If you have some little fish stamps and stamp fish in here, that's also really fun. That was something I thought of earlier today. I have a million things running through my head about this whole bundle because I have an online class to create. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I've got all these like, oh, let's do this. And oh, you could do that. And oh, this is Bermuda Bay ink again. And I'm gonna stamp right in here, wishing you the sweetest day ever. Okay, here's our die for that. And make sure, I've done this three times wrong. Make sure that your wider part is at the bottom and you stamp your words the right way. Does that make sense? Three times I did it wrong. I am a slow learner. So we're going to die cut all of these things. The other thing that, oh, I know, hang on. I don't wanna jump ahead of myself here. Okay, here comes all of our little bits and pieces. So we have this. We have this, we have this, the lid, and the little windy deal. Okay, so we have a few little things that we need to kind of put together. So this gets glued onto here. And I consulted the picture because I wasn't quite sure if it should go this way or this way. But this is the money slot and that's the turn thing. So the money slot is up over top, just like it's shown here. Say I did a little bit, I'm like, oh, I don't know, what do I do here? So I'm just going to glue that on here. Then I'm going to grab those brads and I'm gonna pull out a little white one. Oops, that's a black one. I want a white one. So I've got, there's white and black, there's squares in here. Look at all of these. This is a really cool set of brads. It's called round and square brads. Does anybody see where that went? Oh, here it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to poke a hole. This is a piercing mat, by the way. I just cover it with printer weight paper so I can stamp on it. I'm gonna take my piercing mat, I'm gonna poke a hole in there. I'm going to grab this turning mechanism and then we're gonna put that brad in there, just like that. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, there we go. There's our little turning thing. And it really does turn, so that's cool. All right. Oh, where's my... I don't know. Oh, I've got it. Jeez, I've got it right here for Pete's sakes. Okay, so now we need to figure out... We have to put a hole in here for our shaker dome, okay? So... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in my pieces. I'm just going to dry fit them on here with this bubble gum machine to make sure that I have enough room to do everything. And grab this die again. And again, make sure that the smaller, smaller part is at the top so that you get this on here right. I am going to put this 
right here. So I'm just going to put it right there and center it. Let me grab a little piece of tape. And you just center it. That's it. I thought, oh, this is going to be so hard. It's really not. Hang tight. Here we go. Okay. Now, this goes in here. Oops, make sure you got it the right way. Oh, that is the right way. <laughs> okay, this goes in here. Now, I was figuring like, how am I gonna keep that in there? So here's what I did. I took a little piece of tape and I put it right here. Oops, hang on. We're gonna pull this off. This is adhesive. Okay, now it's sticky. But what I did is I took a piece of tape and I put it right there. And I'm gonna take a tiny little piece of tape. Oops, hang on. And I'm gonna put it right there. And then we're gonna set this on here, okay? Oops. So what you're doing is taping this in place so this, this stays here. Now we're gonna grab some of these and you don't wanna overdo it with these. You think you need more than you really do, but look at how pretty those are. I just, I love these. Okay, we're gonna put those in there. And now we're gonna grab this and we're gonna add this to the back, okay? I'm gonna turn it over and look at how cute that is. How sweet is, oh, it's upside down, you guys. Ah, did anybody see that? Hang on, I did it upside down. I did it when I was making my first one too. My second one turned out perfect. Okay. Oh, I put this in here upside down. Dang it. Hang on a second. We're going to take these out. No, I didn't. That's right. Why did I think that was upside down? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. False alarm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some days things are hard, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, there's tape on both sides of the dome. I did not know that. Shut up. See, I learned so much from you guys. Thank you for telling me that. Oh, it is upside down. Well, I'm going to do it this way. It's going to be fine. There we go. <laughs> there's tape on the front of the dome. That's what they're telling me. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me that. Well, that would certainly make sense because otherwise there's no way to kind of glue that in place. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> oh my good grief. So watch this. I made two other cards and I did not know that. Oh, stamp it up. You're the best. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for helping a, helping a friend out. Look at that. Oh, so much smarter. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to add some glue to the back. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Sue says this is actually encouraging for her that I'm messing up <laughs> or that I'm not perfect. <laughs> oh, so cool. Yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm real. This I just keep it real. I am not perfect, not by a long shot, but look how cute that is with those little gumballs in there and the wishing you the sweetest day ever. I love this. So now we're gonna take these and we're gonna put dimensionals on the back. I did one without dimensionals, but I really like the dimensionals on here because I just think it really adds a lot. And here's my big dimensionals. Now, the other cool thing about the gumball machine is, look at this, the door really opens. Yeah, 
for the gumballs to come out. So I thought that was really sweet. We're gonna take our Take Your Pick tool and get rid of all of these. And now we're gonna butt that up right against our gumball machine, or our dome, our shaker dome. Okay, just like that. And then comes this one. I gotta call and get my nails done tomorrow. Look at, they're so grown, ugh. Let's see if I can get in tomorrow with Miss Vicky. Remember, she's the one who yelled at me. Okay, oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. Ah, I love it. Okay, so let's keep moving along here. Um, Here's my card, whoops. <laughs> Close these up, that's the second time I've spilled them. The first time, I had my shaker dome sitting here and I poured my little beads into it and then I stuck my arm on it with the sticky off of it and it like spilled all over. <laughs> the love you stamp fits in that little door. Oh, that's so cool. This one right here. You can, oh, look at it. <gasps> I must do that. Okay, thank you. See, I haven't looked at anything with this, you guys. Like this is my first. This is my first run with it. Let me find a, gosh, I gotta have a scrap of white cardstock, would you think? Here, here's one right here. Oh, that feels, oh, this is right. I was like, that doesn't feel good. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Hang on, I got one right here. Lots of scraps. Okay, so I have all my stamps mounted. When I get ready to start working with a stamp set, I mount everything. That works out really good for me. I'm gonna do this. Ha! Love you. That is, thank you so much for telling me. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this under there. I don't know exactly how this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out right now on live national television. <laughs> okay, there it is. Look at how cute that is. Okay, so let me trim this. because I mounted on dimensionals, of course I can get it up in here, right? Then we'll grab that take your pick tool. Ah, oh, look at how stinking cute is that? That's adorable. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get it glued in there. I think I'm gonna just put a dot of glue on it. And then we're gonna just try to slide it in there. This could be a complete nightmare, but it's not. Oh my gosh, I did it, you guys. That is the cutest thing ever. I wondered about that. <laughs> See, I learned so much from you guys. Okay, so there we go. Are you ready to put our card together? Here comes this part. We're gonna grab the tear and tape, which is right here again. I wanna make sure that this is nice and strong and that this is not gonna come off. So we're gonna take our little shaker dome layer Oh, wait, uh. and we're gonna add it to some Bermuda Bay. We need one more layer behind here, just like this. Doesn't that white really make it pop? So this is all eighth of an inch. These are all eighth inch layers. And again, all of these dimensions will be in the free download and on my blog. Let's slide that just a little bit. There we go, okay. Now we're gonna put tear and tape on the back, just like that. You guys are so patient, yay. Yes, thank you. I did, I, and I forgot it when I was making my sample before too. I'm like, oh, jeez, I need to pay attention. Okay, now we're just gonna glue this to this top flap right here, and I'm just gonna center it from side to side and top to bottom, just like that, okay. Then we're going to grab that Baker's Twine and we're going to grab white. Now don't forget, I got another whole color to show you. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit different. Here comes our bow jig. And I'm going to push this one down to a small bow and I'm going to wrap it twice. So now I have a double bow here. I love that we have this whole, this pack of five different Baker's Twines. This is included with the kit for the gumball greetings 
for April. So you get a whole, whole package of five different colors of Baker's Twine, as well as the domes and the little um, sprinkle deals. What are those called? Um, frosted bead assortment. Love them. Okay, mini glue dot. <sighs> you know what would be really nice if I had somebody here that could keep track of all my things? <laughs> because obviously I'm not very good at it. <sighs> you guys do that at home too. Like it's the most frustrating thing to lose your stuff all the time. And it's right here. It didn't go any place. I just can't see it. Look at how cute that double bow is, you guys. Isn't that sweet? It really adds a lot to it. It makes your bow a little bit more substantial. <gasps> Look at how cute it is, you guys. What do you think? Ah. Okay, now hang tight because I got a couple ideas here for you. Uh, let's see if I can pick stuff up. Here's a happy birthday card for Target. This is a little pocket, okay? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Another really cool thing is if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or maybe you just have a business, a really cool way to present your business card to somebody is in one of these little gift card holders. This is a really neat way. People are going to remember that, oh my gosh, she gave me this whole card with her business card in it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I have a couple different kinds. I've got this square one. I actually like that better for this, but you know, you know, obviously you don't need to put happy birthday on it, but wishing you the sweetest day ever is pretty cool. Okay. So, um, the other thing that I did is of course we have the, uh, the, um, designer paper on the back. <laughs> Kay says she didn't think she needed this set until now. You're welcome, Kay. I'm glad I could help you. Um, I put the paper on the flap here, but I also stamped this cute little gumball machine. This is part of the gumball greetings. Isn't that just precious? I colored it with the Bermuda Bay stamp and blend markers to make it real pretty. So here's my Bermuda Bay card. You guys ready to see the other one? What color do you think I made the other one? I want to guess. I want you to guess. What color do you think I made the other card? Hang on, I got something stuck here on my desk. I'll give you a hint. Ah. <laughs> Quite the hint, right? Look at this one. Oh my goodness, this is the same exact paper. Okay, it has nothing to do with Valentine's Day and I made two adorable cards with Valentine's. Um, let's see, Lynn is asking if this can be mailed. You would need to put it in a padded envelope. It's gonna cost you a little bit more to mail this or hand deliver it. So that's a really good question. Ooh, we've got pink, pink, red. Nobody said purple. Hi, Barbara, back. Look at that. So I use the black Baker's Twine. I use the black brad from the, um, the squares and circle brads. I used Highland Heather. I put a whole bunch more of the gumballs in this one. So it depends on which one. I should have maybe added a few more to that one, but I used designer series paper in the background here and here I embossed a layer of cardstock. And then here comes our inside. I did it exactly the same. Here is our happy birthday gift card holder. Oh my goodness. Do you guys love this? I can't even wait to make my cards for my kit class. Like, you guys know that I put out um, which classes I'm going to be doing before I've even made the class, like that's how I operate. So I'm going to be working hard on, now you have two additional color combinations, but another idea to go with the kit. So, oh yes, a terrarium would be great. That's a great idea. Um, you could also use, you could also use this particular stamp. Oh, where's my die? Oh, how about this? This can be a pot. You can put the flowers from the um, flowering rain boots sticking out of here or daff the daffodil set. This can be a cute little pot. I wanted to show you guys one of the things that I really love about the stamp set is that you have these, this big long stripe in there. 
So here's that big long stripe. I didn't even notice it until I started mounting all the stamps, but I stamped it up and I was gonna use this on the background instead of the polka dots. So I die cut this out of the middle. But when I got it all done and went to put it together, I didn't like these stripes with these stripes. It was too much. So I ripped it all apart <laughs> and redid it. And um, But here's those stripes. So you can stamp these and because they're photopolymer, it's easy for placement, right? So I just stamped Bermuda Bay on Bermuda Bay. But anyways, I love stripes like that. So here's our cutie patootie gift card holders. All of the dimensions and everything for these will be posted on my blog later tonight. Um, I highly recommend this kit class. It is 54, is that what I said, $54? Where did it go? Yes, $54 if you already have the bundle. If you need the bundle, you can add that on for a total of 104. I think the, uh, yeah, it's $50 for the bundle. That includes tax and shipping. Kits will go out at the week of the 18th, so um, you can watch for them then. I'll have a PDF that goes out via email with all of the all of the dimensions and video links for each card, and you get to make eight cards. There's four different designs, two of each, and then you have this idea too. So, um, and remember, if you're on my team, the PDF for all of my classes is available to you for free, okay? I also have pre-cut cardstock packets for my team only at special pricing. Um, so you, you'll get all the information for those in our weekly team newsletter on Wednesday. If you're not on my team and you are not on anybody else's team, you really need to consider joining my team. It is a fun, fun, fun place to be. You get all kinds of perks and benefits. Jenny wants to know if this is on my blog. It will be on my blog later tonight. Oh, the kit is on my blog. Yes, it is the Gumball Greetings Kit. So yes, you'll find it as, go to my blog, www.estampabove and scroll down. You'll find the Gumball registration. Yes. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. It is always fun to stamp with you. This is my favorite part of Sundays is spending the evening with you guys. I couldn't do this without you. So I really appreciate you being here and joining in and helping me out along the way. I needed a lot of help tonight. Some days are just like that, aren't they? <laughs> um, I have a blog hop coming up on Thursday. So watch for that. I don't remember what the theme is, but I think it'll be fun regardless. And if you, if, um, we got to pre-order as demonstrators. We got to pre-order on Friday from the new annual catalog. We have a select list of stuff that we get to pre-order. You can also add that to your kit if you decide to join my team, whether you're going to build a business or just be a discount stamper, a discount shopper. You can add new catalog items to your starter kit to get you started. So that's kind of a big bonus is to be able to order a month in advance from when everyone else gets to order. Um, Ingrid says, being with you is our favorite part of Sunday night, too. You guys are so sweet. You just know how to make a girl feel so special. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me. I am going to let you go. I'm going to go downstairs and see what's happening with Steve and maybe eat a little supper because I am getting a little hungry now, right? Oh, my gosh, these are so fun. I will have these loaded up to my blog, and I've got one of – I've got the – the um, free download typed up for this one. I have to still type it up for this one. So yeah, padded envelopes for these. I would definitely do padded envelopes, yes. Because this is, let me show you. This is about half an inch at the, at the uh, tallest point of this dome. But look at how it's sticking. I am so glad you guys told me that. I had no idea. Like that is so funny. Super cute. So I'm hoping to make some really cool cards with this with this bundle. You're going to love it. And then, of course, the fun folds. Oh, Betty, I'm jealous. I saw you were bird watching recently. <laughs> Betty, I got to have lunch with Betty down in Sarasota when I was there in February. So that was really cool. 
and I got to meet um, several of my team members that live in that area met me for lunch. That was really fun. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go and have yourselves a wonderful week. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you need a new catalog when they come out, let me know. I am happy to um, accommodate that. Everybody should have a real catalog in their hands. It's so much fun to look through that. Have yourselves a wonderful week, everybody. Bye-bye.